I just yanked my lure out of the water and it went into my leg. Oh, it's in good. Oh, this is gonna suck. Oh, man. I better just do it. This is gonna get worse. Oh, crap. Oh, it's in good. Evidently, this one was not a pinched barb. Oh. Last summer, Aaron and I were on a canoe trip on the Steel River in relative wilderness, away from any medical help or hospitals or anything like that, when I pretty deeply hooked my right thigh with a thick hook similar to this one. It was quite a miserable experience to rip it out, but ultimately I was glad for the experience and I'm going to explain why in this video. If you've never pinched your barbs before, here's a pretty large hook again with a big barb so you can hopefully see it. All you do is take pliers and crush it down, like so. Often you'll hear a snap like that. Here's a good example of what it should look like when it's done. You can see the barb is crushed right into the shank flush. And I can run my finger over it smoothly. So as a result, it was very unpleasant to dig out of my leg. I'll show you a quick clip of what that looked like right now. Do it? No. Okay. I thought I pinched all my barbs. Oh man. It makes me feel a little squeamish. Mind over matter. Holy crap. It is really not wanting to budge. I know you're supposed to push down. To try and release the bar. Oh, oh, oh. You get it? oh yeah. It's band aids for you. Thanks. Oh, oh, that's not pleasant. And I'll put the rest of that footage at the end of the video if you want to see more of it. At the time, I was just reeling back the lure really fast to the canoe and pulling up on my rod to try and uh, get it over a shallow section. And then suddenly, before I knew it, before I could react at all, it had launched out of the water and flew, just uh, grazed my leg enough that the hook caught and went in deep. But uh, yeah, I had, there was no time to react. That could have gone anywhere. It could have gone around my face. It could have gotten me an eyeball, which would have been grotesque. Like, I can't even imagine that scenario in the backcountry, especially. And, uh, and even worse, it could, have, it could have hit Aaron and hooked her. Like, that would just be the worst feeling in the world. Good timing, buddy. Pets are another great reason to pinch your barbs. If you hooked your dog on a backcountry canoe trip, um, you can only imagine how that could go. And uh, I see it being pretty ugly, especially if it was around the face. I can see the dog going into to panic or just you know, at the very least being in terrible pain. So uh, if, you're, if you've got dogs on canoe trips or where you're fishing, I think it's a, it's a really good idea. If you fish with children at all, that's another great reason to do this. You'll know if you've had that experience that kids don't have very good control of their lure. And often it's extremely frustrating to fish with them because they just get it messed up and everything. But someday that could be you. And I know the first thing that people think of when they think about pinching their barbs is, oh, I'm going to lose fish. Well, you don't need barbs to, to hook things. This is a piece of wood. All it takes is tension. And that depends on your skill as an angler. If you want it to be a real sport, barbless really enhances that because you need skill. You have to learn how to angle and keep tension on the line. As soon as I lose tension, it falls right out, of course. But, I mean, if it can stay in a piece of wood with tension, it can certainly stay in a fish's mouth with tension. So in the end, I'm really glad that I did hook myself so I could get that experience and learn that lesson in a non-horrific way. It could have been a lot worse. And now, hopefully that will never happen to me again, at least with a barbed hook. But it also gave me a new appreciation for what fish go through. I realize this discussion is a little bit different for anglers who only fish for sustenance and not for sport because they're not planning to release the fish again. That's, that's fine, but if you are practicing catch and release, 
a barbless hook is really essential to that, not only for the lack of damage that you cause in the mouth, but for the speed with which you can get it back into the water, which is essential to catch and release. You have to get them back very, very quickly. 15 seconds is a good target. So in my case, the hook was buried down into my thigh. So I couldn't, a lot of people said, why don't you just push it through? So if it had just gone through my fingertip, let's say, which actually happened to me this past winter, you can just push it through, pinch the barb, and then pull it back out. That wasn't possible. It was buried this way. If I had pushed it around, it would have been a bloodbath. But there is a method, uh, it's called like the line loop method, where you essentially wrap braided line or something, a line that's very strong that isn't going to break. Braid is quite strong for its diameter. Um, around the shank of the hook and rip it out just like real quick and it does it cleanly you might bleed a bit still but um, that is a good method which I had ironically studied years before this incident and had completely forgotten in the moment so I ended up ripping it out the, the ugly way. I'm sure there may be other considerations for you and your situation and uh, if you'd like to tell me about that I'd welcome your, your feedback in the comments. But otherwise, if you, if you don't have a real objection to anything I've said so far, I recommend putting on a pair of safety glasses and the next time you're watching TV, go and clip them. If you're sitting there, you've got nothing else to do. And that's it. I'll leave it at that and I'll show you the rest of that footage now. So uh, hopefully you can learn the easy way. Oh, oh, that's not pleasant. That's never happened to me before. Oh man, I'm seeing stars. Oh wow. Luckily it's not bleeding too much. Oh, it's starting to feel better. It just took like five minutes of, uh, of feeling like I was gonna faint. Ripping a hook out of yourself isn't fun. I didn't do a good job of pinching this barb, so there's a little bit left to it. I'm a real proponent of, of uh, pinching barbs for fish's sake, especially if you're a catch and release angler. I'm After this trip, or maybe even tonight, uh, I'm going through all my lures and getting every last bit of barb off. That's, uh, that is really unpleasant. I don't want to do that to a fish. If the barbs had been pinched on that, that would have come out like nothing. Who's your favorite iron chest? You go first. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go for the machine with others. That's what they taught me in my 19th century kindergarten. Okay, you can go first.